All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to build a spinner on Autodesk Inventor. The reason I'm gonna use Autodesk Inventor is because we can be a little bit more accurate with the way that we build this. So I'm gonna go to tools. I'm gonna change the units to millimeters because I know that the, the bearings themselves are 22 millimeters in diameter. And what I wanna do is make sure that everything I build is sort of around that because that's what makes it work. So I'm going to start off with the circle here, at, and I'm going to do 22.2, because if I make it exact, then it's going to be extremely hard to put the bearings in. At 22.2, I notice that it's a little bit easier, and then I'm going to zoom out, <clears throat> and I'm going to use a regular line here, and I'm going to go up, let's say, 30. So 30 straight up, I'll put a circle on the end to kind of represent that top one, 22.2. And then I'm going to grab another line. And I want the distance between here and here to be 120 degrees. I know that that's a right angle, that's 90, so I'm going to add 30. That should be 30 degrees, and the distance of the line is actually 30 as well just like the other one and then I'm gonna go over here and then last one and I want so the distance of the line is 30 degrees tab and then to do degrees it's measuring from that the uh, the x-axis there and in order to make this 120 degrees away from that line which is what I want because I just took 360 and divided it by 3, which is 120. So each one of these should be at 120, um, or 120 apart. So that's 30 degrees. If I do 150, 150 minus 30 is 120. So now that's 120 degrees away from there. I can always double check to make sure I did my math right. Just getting rid of these dimension lines. And let's see. Um, inspect angle, so here to there. Come on. 120, perfect. Here to there, 120. Here to there, 120. Okay, got it. I'm gonna get rid of that dotted line there. It'll let me. Maybe not. Okay. So I am going to put the circles on the end here. So 22.2 and 22.2. And then from here, it's, it's really up to you in terms of how you design this. You can be really exact in the way that you want to do this, or you can just kind of free for all it. I've seen like some students just draw straight lines from here to there to there, and then they trim. Um, but first, so this is this is like the hole. So we do need to make the outside of it. So I'll make that thirty point out. Excuse me, thirty point out. Uh, thirty point out. And then trim some lines. I'm gonna trim, let's see, that's trimmed. Trimmed. 
So I'm just tr trimming this stuff away, which I didn't want to trim that. Um, good, using the undo tool. And then, <clears throat> so this one, just like that, I'd be able to finish sketch, back out, extrude to 7.0. So there's a really basic one there. Um, like I said before, so I'm gonna go back and edit this sketch. Edit sketch. These lines didn't have to be straight. I could have made curved lines. So depending on what you wanna do, there's arc there. Could have done this. So arc lines like that, I could have made these arc lines um, even further out. I could have started like here and gone up here and then just like trim this away. Right, so you can see like how you can start creating things. You could take that and a little like chunk out of it if you wanted to. I'm just playing around here, so trimming some of this stuff out. Like I don't like that looks. However, you know it, whatever it looks like. Uh, but again, just playing around, you can, you know, you could put stuff around the edges of this, depending on what you want to do. But again, it's just that basic tri structure that you could use in order to create this. And uh, once you're done, you want to save it. And then, if you finish it like that, then I can show you how to export it as an STL file.